everyone so this is a video of biology class 12 unit 1 that is reproduction chapter number 1 reproduction in organism and topic number 3 which is like which mode of reproduction is better and why now students if you remember in my previous video we discussed about different modes of reproduction and today i will discuss with you which mode of reproduction is important and why this is so if you remember in the previous lecture i asked you one question in the last that you know the difference between both asexual and sexual mode of reproduction so do you have any idea students which mode of reproduction is better and why it is better so just think and let me know your answers in the comment box further i will start today's class with the topic and a recapitulation of what do you mean by reproduction so students reproduction is a biological process right now biological means it is a process of living organism in a particular sequence this is known as a biological process okay it is an innate quality what do you mean by innate quality students so innate quality simply is tell us which we get from our birth like the things the abilities which we are getting from our birth they are called innate abilities like our hands our eyes they are all what they are all innate abilities which we are getting by the birth from our parents right so in the same way reproduction is also what it is a just a innate ability we have students right and this ability is possessed by every living organism every living organism which is surviving on this earth having this innate ability students right so moving to further it is a very very indispensable process which means it is a very important process significant process for the continuation of species in my second video i just explain you how this will helpful in the continuation of species students okay now if you remember there are two modes of reproduction we have the first one is sexual and the other one is asexual so today we will discuss which mode of reproduction is better and why while explaining both the concept both the things both the pros and cons of both aspects so let's begin students now an individual student individual is what a single organism it can produce one offspring and more offspring also in case of only asexual reproduction right like for example amoeba it is a unicellular organism it shows asexual type of reproduction now students in asexual reproduction they are able to they are able to give us birth one organism also and more than one organism also but this is a case of only asexual reproduction whereas if i talk about sexual reproduction this wouldn't be happen in sexual reproduction only one offspring maybe two in exceptions like twins are there they will born right so this is a simple concept we are having with the asexual and sexual reproduction apart from it which are asexual reproduction is which there is no or maybe there are two chances maybe or no involvement of gametes now what are gametes gametes are just like agency students which help which help to form a new offspring further we can say which help in the reproduction process students okay so in asexual reproduction there may or may not be requirement of any gamete formation right 
So for the students, if I talk about asexual reproduction is a very simple process. Because in this process only one parent involved. Whereas if I talk about sexual reproduction, that is a biparental. So in biparental reproduction, there are two parents or two individuals which are from the opposite sexes they involve. So that is why sexual reproduction is a complex because in that both the parents are involving. Whereas in asexual reproduction students, only one parent is involved. Now, there is one thing more. In sexual reproduction, the offspring is not exact copies of their parents. Why this is so? Because in sexual reproduction, here is father, here is mother. They both belong to different families. They both having different genes. They both having different DNA. So when their gametes come and fuse to form a new offspring students, there must be variations. There must be change. So that change is what here? That change is very much important for the adaptability process. Like if organism want to adapt in a particular situation, they need change. Because change is a law of nature, student. Everything is changing according to the circumstances, right? So that is why students, in sexual reproduction, there is a variation. Whereas if I talk about in asexual reproduction students, there is no variation or slight variation must be there. Because in asexual reproduction, offspring is exact copy, offspring is a carbon copy of their parents. Because in this only one parent is involved. So that is why there is no variations. Okay students. Now, in sexual reproduction, new variants are formed as a result of male and female gametes. Hence, they are identical, not at all. They are not identical as their parents, as I already explained you. So students, in unless the cases of the twins, exceptions are always there in biology. But still, the most appropriate or the mostly thing I will discuss with you that is there is no chances of like exact copies there is uh, no chances like parents is totally resemblance with their offspring never ever or offspring will totally resemblance with the parents never ever because there are variations yeah it's definitely that we are having some skills with our parents like uh, voice we are having height we are having and these kinds of things maybe we are matching like if uh, we know that someone when we having a new offspring or someone tell it goes or it's similar to father it's similar to mother his eyes are similar to parents right so these are some you can say some characteristics some features can be same but not the whole structure of an offspring will be the same one right so students what happen individuals right are not able to adapt the surroundings if there is no variations right so in sexual reproduction because of the variations we are able to adapt accordingly i am mean, just giving you a simple example now in this covid conditions you know that uh, we have to wear a mask when we are going somewhere and we have to adapt right because we know that if we not adapting it the environment will not accept us and we will die that is a theory that is a theory which we call as a natural selection. If nature wouldn't select us, we will die definitely. Right? So to follow the law of nature, we are changing accordingly. We are adapting our body in the same way. So sexual reproduction have this ability. Whereas asexual reproduction have nothing like that. Okay? Nothing. So that is why it is proven from the above discussion then which mode is better students you have an idea or not i think so you have an idea that sexual reproduction is better mode as compared to asexual reproduction the reason behind is this in sexual reproduction there is a variation there is evolution and if variation takes place if evolution takes place we are able to adapt according to the surrounding and if we are able to adapt then definitely we survive 
right nature will accept us we are able to adapt according to our environment only then when we have a ability to change as per the surroundings if this is not so we are not able to adapt properly right so this is all about this video however before winding up this video let's having a quick recap that which mode of reproduction is better and why the answer is very simple sexual reproduction is a very very important mode because in sexual reproduction there are variations and if there is a variation there is evolution and if there is a evolution there is a best survival chance of any of the organism on this earth right so still if you have any of the query any of the question regarding to this topic you can just comment me below right and i will definitely assist you whenever you require it so you will definitely watch my next video which is on the topic like description of sexual reproduction okay so keep watching thank you very much bye bye